by Alex Magaisa on Skype. He's a lecturer in law at the University of Kent and a former advisor to Morgan Changarai, former Prime Minister and President of the Movement for Democratic Change, or the MDC. Welcome to the programme. On the face of it, these strikes appear to be fuelled by economic grievances, but is this more about challenging the political power of Robert Mugabe? He's, he's been in, in power for a very long time. Oh, absolutely. Yes, the immediate trigger are the economic challenges that the people of Zimbabwe are facing, uh, the case shortages that you have referred to, uh, lack of jobs, the corruption, and a recent uh, import ban that has been imposed by the government, which is affecting uh, many people who, uh, whose livelihoods uh, come from vending, uh, you know, selling goods and importing goods from South Africa. But uh, the challenge really is political, and uh, this has been going on for a very long time. Uh, for the past 16 years, the Zimbabwean people have been trying to uh, have political change in the country, but uh, this has been stifled by what is, frankly, a, a repressive state, as the pictures uh, demonstrate. Well, these strikes clearly show public discontent. How have opposition parties responded? Are, are they jumping on the bandwagon, or is this really about a citizens' movement? Well, one of the most fascinating things about this particular uh, episode is that uh, this is a citizens' movement. Uh, what it has done is it has brought people uh, in, uh, from different regions, uh, people uh, regardless of class, regardless of uh, occupation, uh, the unemployed and the employed, the young and the old, and uh, it, it is not politically partisan. And this has brought people together because everyone is uh, going through serious challenges uh, that have been brought to bear upon Zimbabwe. Um, the opposition political parties uh, and the ruling party uh, both seem to have been caught uh, by surprise by what has been happening. And uh, I think the question for them really is how do they uh, coordinate, how do they uh, link with the movement that has been started by the citizens. And, and this is the, the big challenge that they all face. Alex Mugaisa, you were the former advisor to Morgan Changrai, who was a former prime minister and president of the MDC. What would be your advice to him? Well, I think it's important that the opposition is not uh, uh, swept away by the tide of the citizens' movement and that the opposition appreciates that uh, this citizens' movement is not uh, a challenge to their role in the politics of the country. They are still the uh, official opposition. They have the space in political opposition which they can use to complement the efforts of the citizens. And I think, you know, for me, it would be to uh, find a mechanism by which the political movement that has been in the trenches for a long time can draw synergies with the uh, citizens' movement that has uh, sprung up uh, in recent years, because this is an important challenge that is now taking place. And what is more useful about it is that it's taking people who were previously uh, not involved in politics at all, but have said enough is enough. We want uh, economic and political change. OK, Alex Magaisa uh, in Kent in the UK. Thank you very much for joining us.